Well, this is it, Rock Three. Rachmaninoff Third Piano Concerto is uh, really the concerto that strikes terror into so many young pianists' hearts. It's thickly written. There's a combination of big chords to play and very fast notes to play. I mean, the fast notes by themselves you would come across in Mendelssohn and it's not that big a deal. And the big chords by themselves you might come across in something else, but putting them together is awkward. And it's a very long piece and there are very few breaks. There's really only a break at the beginning and the end of the second movement and otherwise you're working non-stop. It opens simply enough. But after that very simple melody, once the piece takes off, it really does take off. There was actually two different cadences that Rachmaninoff wrote for the concerto, kind of just depending on your whim. The climax of either of those cadenzas is immensely powerful music and filled with chords. I, I, I always think of it as, you know, listening to this must be like standing under a waterfall. to my uh, colleague and a pianist who I uh, admire immensely, Garrick Olson, on the street in New York back in 1990 when I was finally learning Rock Three. I always thought of him as the ultimate interpreter of this concerto. And, and I said, Garrick, I'm having a really hard time with this piece. It's pretty difficult. And he said, oh, well, if you're learning Rock Three, there's a couple things you need to know. He said, there, there's a passage in the second movement that is just not written very well, and if you alternate the octaves between right and left hand, you'll get a much better effect. And he said, and there's a place here in the third movement, and, and he, you know, I, I had the music with me. He start, we were standing on the street, and he was going through the music and showing me his, his favorite little tricks and hints and shortcuts. To me, maybe one of the most terrifying moments in all of the piano concerto uh, repertory is hearing the orchestra play the opening of the third movement. When I hear that, I just freak out because it always sounds too fast. And the piano entry in that movement after that brief orchestral introduction has a lot of notes. It has a lot more notes than the orchestra was just playing in the same tempo and it's always a bit scary. I have a favorite section in the third movement that always uh, makes me feel like a bear. It's a very peasant kind of feeling, and although there's no change of tempo marking, there's a change of mood a little bit, and the music just gets very, very heavy. And then there's the last two measures where Rachmaninoff does exactly the same thing that he does at the end of the second piano concerto, which is signs off with his name. Rachmaninoff. <laughs>